Mrs. Tickram. What's that, sir? Communing with nature, planting seeds for harvest. I didn't realize that's what we were doing. Well, that's why I am who I am, Graham, and you're... Well, you. Mark Hayden again. He never learns. You see, he undoubtedly failed to comprehend. The microbes in the algae have amazing potential. When stimulated with the correct oxygen-phosphorus ratio, they'll eat anything. Fellow farmland, oil slicks, trash dumps. The genius who manages to find a cheap way to manufacture the little noshers can literally name his own price. Dr. Arcane, thermal indicators are rising rapidly. I'll increase the oxygen-phosphorus ratio. Today! Something's wrong. The whole system's overheating. Must I do everything myself? Oh. Maybe we should farm algae in tanks next time. Maybe we should farm algae in tanks next time. When I have a perfectly useless swamp at my disposal, try not to act as stupid as you look, Graham. Safety overrides are malfunctioning. Somebody get help! It's too late. He's dead. Anyone hear me? What the devil's going on? Someone have hell to pay for this. Graham? Well, oh, that was rather pleasant. Now, steady on, Doctor. Think. There's a rational explanation for all of this. <laughs> Look at that. Who's there? Who's there? Never mind. Just keep the revelry going, whoever you are. I have to get my bearings. Huh. Now I'll get to the bottom of this. <laughs> hell? No doctor. This ain't hell. Not yet. <laughs> versus Anton Arcane, the Honorable Tressa Kip presiding. Tressa Kip, for God's sake, what's the meaning of this charade? Don't worry about the thing, Doc. You? What the hell are you doing? What am I doing here? Anton Arcane, you are charged with a list of disgusting offenses against science, medicine, and humanity. Not to mention having an overblown ego. How do you plead? Defense pleads guilty. <laughs> I did bloody well not. But you are guilty, Arcane. Guilty of what? <laughs> you named it. You did it. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know what kind of nightmare this is, but that's clearly all it is. Some absurd dream. Some burst of beta brainwave activity. Council says you're guilty. This dim-witted juvenile delinquent could never represent me. But someone must offend you. As repulsive a job as that may be. Very well. Since I'm doomed to endure this bad theater, I'll defend myself. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Wait just a bloody minute. He can't prosecute me. You fired him. I hired him. Yeah, well, he's inequitable. <laughs> like I care. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Sorry for the interruption, Will. Thanks, Tressa. <laughs> right back at you, babe. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, what can I say about Dr. Arcane? That he's evil? <laughs> that everybody already knows that. That he's cruel and insensitive? Let's face it, the man's a heartless, greedy, vain piece of smelly cat litter. His presence in this swamp is an affront to us all. Oh, oh, oh. Audition! Ooh. Now what, Arcane? I know my rights, and this so-called jury of my peers is completely unacceptable. These people aren't objective. They know me. Who better to judge you? <laughs> Continue, Will. Oh, by the way, I like that suit. You ought to know you helped me pick it out. Now, Dr. Arcane has objected to you, the jury. I wonder why. Could it be that that you have experienced firsthand his insidious behavior, the abduction of loved ones, hideous experiments on innocent victims, indeed, indeed, crimes against Mother Nature herself! Better bollocks. <laughs> Argument. The prosecution calls its first witness, the defendant's mother. He was rotten, even as a lad. I'm dreadfully sorry I even brought him into the world. Mother, well, it's true. You're just like your father. Unreliable witness, Your Honor. Psychiatrist found the old bag clinically insane years ago. Oh, Cain promised to help me. And he stole my invention. Don't make me laugh. It's just a vague notion until my intellect made it work. Look what he did to me! Accidents happen. You did it on purpose! Oh, I never touched the man. His problem was the work of incompetent subordinates. Good help is so hard to find these days. I gave him so much. Slipped my fingers to the nub. Sacrificing everything from his style to his hair. Now look at him. See how he mocks my artistry? Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, frankly, I'm embarrassed. Not for myself, of course, but for the prosecution in wasting your valuable time like this. My reasoning should be obvious. If this pathetic parade of so-called witnesses is the best the prosecution can do to impugn my honor, I see little point in continuing with these proceedings. Clearly, he has proved nothing. Unless I'm terribly misinformed, a man is Innocent until proven guilty. I don't have to, Doc. You've already done that for me many, many, many times. Like when you sold the pure unfortunate victims of your genetic experiments to a freak show. We have another glorious failure for you, Simon. A playmate for Amos there. Well, as you can see, Doctor, I've no more room. No more room at all. Was I so wrong to pay them a personal little visit and ask nothing in return? Well, what about the time you had the incredibly destructive plan to destabilize global agriculture? You're going to destabilize the government of a country with a plant? This plant, as you call it, is the result of years of very careful gene splicing. One single scarlet moss orchid can produce enough defoliant to completely decimate a thousand acres of food crops, rice, for example. The defoliant is triggered by whoa, whoa, whoa. day. What is going to keep this defoliant from spreading across the, the whole world once it gets started? An antidote. One in particular I've discovered. You see, that's where the real money is. Don't you find out about that? And then if that was not enough, you decide to prove your revolting theory. An alien woman. An innocent. My friend, Abigail. I won't stay any longer. I'll stop by to pay my respects, see how the little girl's doing. Dr. Hollister thinks it's a pesticide reaction. Oh, we don't use any synthetic pesticides in my greenhouses. All our plants are autoimmune. Well, that's the future of agriculture, you know. Well, when she does wake up, uh, 
Perhaps you'd be good enough to inform her that this little present was from me. And then the district attorney was on to you, and you couldn't handle the pressure. What's the arcane solution? You simply plot and have the unsuspecting man murdered. But I'm going after him. Warrant subpoenas, the works. A month from now, he won't have a secret or a deal that I don't know about. And you can quote me on that. I'm gonna kill him. Stop it right there! Just look at his hair! <laughs> Isn't it absolutely mortifying? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're proud of yourself, Arcane, but then again, you have so much to be proud of, don't you? Like the time your plot to eliminate Tressa Kick failed, you had her savagely attacked. <laughs> male attention and friendship towards Mrs. Kip. Friendship? Male attention? I suppose that includes your gracious act of kidnapping Tressa's son, my half-brother. Jim. All right, you're bigger than he is, so you stay here and keep your eyes open, okay? You drive the truck, and if you let anything happen to that kid in there, You'll be part of the next cargo, understand? Tressa, I... Shut up, Arcade! Before I have someone shut you up! Oh, and for God's sake, please do something about that hair! 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 And now the moment you've all been waiting for. A surprise witness who will seal our case against Dr. Anton Arcane once for all. The prosecution calls a special man, Dr. Alec Holland. Dr. Holland, you more than anyone else knows how merciless Arcane can be. Tell us, please, what happened, in your words. He was never satisfied with his own accomplishments. He was totally obsessed with mine. In particular, my research on a biorestorative formula that would increase plant growth. When he found out I was making fantastic progress, he became consumed by it. He had to have it. But of course, he was never man enough to confront me himself. He sent thugs to do his dirty work for him. Then when they failed to steal my formula, decided to eliminate his competition. Objection! On what grounds? On the grounds that this melodrama is irrelevant. Last, remember how I came here. This isn't a dream at all. This is my life being judged. But I did nothing to order this. I, I was merely supervising an experiment. An experiment in killing innocent wildlife. <laughs> experiment benefiting mankind. Do you people honestly expect me to mourn the loss of a lower life form? When the needs of society demand my attention? Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I, I acknowledge that some of us have had certain difficulties in the past. But that's all behind us now. On the horizon, right? A whole new set of problems which I am uniquely qualified to solve. An experiment which sacrificed that unfortunate fish may well solve global food shortages. Think of it! No more famine. No more hungry little children. I wasn't hurting anyone. I was merely using my spectacular gift of intelligence and superior intellect for all of you. Is that so? Then what about the conversation you were just having with your assistant, Graham? The microbes in the algae have amazing potential. 
When stimulated with the correct oxygen-phosphorus ratio, they'll eat anything. Fellow farmland, oil slicks, trash dumps. And the genius who managed this to find a cheap way to manufacture the little noshers can literally name his own price. That's taken out of context. Doesn't begin to explain my thought processes. I'm not sure anything can. <laughs> Continue, Dr. Holland. What else did this monster do to you? He could do no more than his final act, Your Honor. Not only did Arcane try to murder me, but he went after my wife. And he succeeded. I miss her so much. Damn you for what you did to her, Arcane. Damn you to hell! Damn you! Damn you! your hair when you had the chance. <laughs> Submersible lab was destroyed. I don't know how long it'll take to get another one running in the swamp. Swamp, 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 swamp. Is that all you ever think about? Give it a rest, man. Certainly, I'm Dr. Arcane, and whatever you say. Good. Give me your cup. Your pencil? Things. But in the swamp, endings are sometimes only the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> 